This is an intense personal video and I, I'm going to have to make it. A long, long time ago in a hospital far, far away. Actually, it's not too far away. It's within walking distance of where I live. I was born. When I was born, the doctor said... Oh, no, wait. This isn't the comedy episode. Uh, I'm going to look around for a little bit. Just a little bit. I have to figure out what I need to do and where I need to do it. I'm thinking I'll put... I'm thinking I'm going to put the uh, things here. The sheep will go here. But I need to figure out what we're going to do about this. Um, let's see. <coughs> yeah, I guess I'll just put these in then, I guess. Or is this too high up and I should move it down a bit? Because that goes all the way off there. Yeah, you know it would be better if I dug it out. If I dug it out. I haven't... Oh, wait. One... Yeah, wait. One, two, blank. One, two, blank. One, two, blank. One, two, blank. And that's the last one. Okay, now we're into something. <coughs> Some years ago I was born, that was obvious. And wait, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and there. Not that I'm gonna put it like that, but I want it to be like that. Okay. Now Now my mother has died. I never thought I was going to say that. Um, I always thought I lived a very dangerous life, and I thought that I was almost certainly going to die first. It was inconceivable to me that anything could happen to my mother first, because she was very good with herself. She took better care than I... Well, actually, it wasn't. I, I was under the impression that she was taking better care than I did, and perhaps she did take better care than I did, but that was only after I was born. What she did before I was born, well, she did a lot of things. She did a lot of smoking. Oh, she gave up smoking um, quite some time ago. Quite a long time ago, actually. Oh, this isn't going to work here, because that's in the way. Just trying to make me a sheep pen, that's all. Yeah, I definitely need to dig that area out. Well, I can't get the sheep right now, um, mainly because I can't get the sheep right now. This is good. I have to make some other things there. I've still got some time. I'm going to start on the top then. Getting a lot of Skype messages, but I really have to talk about this. My mom has died now, uh, just recently. She was a lovely person. Not physically attractive, specifically, but... I mean, I mean, because, you know, I, a guy can't get interested in his own mother anyway. She was very helpful and kind, and... And the moment she died, and I'm not going to say past. I have to point something out here. When people say that some... Oops, when people say that somebody passed, it's, it's a specifically religious thing. That is to say... A person can pass in the sense of that their spirit passes away from this world into the next world. There's just one problem. Not everybody believes that. I and my mother and a few other people I know do not believe that. What we believe is that the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Uh, so we don't. I don't say that... that uh, she passed. I say that she died because that's what happened. 
It's a specific religious uh, viewpoint, though. We're not going to force this upon anybody else. Hi. Uh, yeah, I gotta put these away. I haven't even... I made the mistake of forgetting I have to have some more things for dirt and stuff. Well, we'll work on that. Oh, I've got more cobblestone walls. Well, I need them. And I'll need more cobble to make more cobblestone walls. And I'm going to need... No, that's not how it's done. Oh, he's calling again. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I told them off. Ah, <laughs> uh, So, I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Oh, this, yes. She was, as I was saying, a very, very wonderful person. I should just lower everything. There's really no point to that being right there. Oh, wait a minute, though. Is this one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four? No, I don't know what it is. Let's just start placing these. But I have to leave that one open. Now, you know what? This is stupid as well. <laughs> I'm trying to understand what I got to do, and I don't know what I got to do. It would help if I knew what I had to do, and I don't remember. Ah, I'm just so messed up because the last few days have been a whirlwind. Now that my mother is dead, I have to deal with a lot of paperwork. Yeah, let's see what we got. One. One, two, two. Three. And one more after that. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard or difficult or, or hard. It is annoying, though. Uh... Now let's take those out too. Anyway, she was a wonderful person and she really helped me out with my life in many ways that I cannot even begin to describe and and she's gone now. And I have to accept that. Only I cannot accept that. I, I'm having serious trouble with this. Um, this was part of the problem I had at... Uh, oops. It's part of the problem I had in, um, I was talking about problems at home. This is exactly what it was. Exactly what my problem at home was. My mother was dying, and I needed to do something about it, and I couldn't. Oop. I took her to the hospital. At the hospital, she stayed there for over a month. And they kept saying different things. They'd say she was dehydrated. Another time they said she might have had cancer. Another time they said... Oh, it's almost nighttime. And i got to dig this away. And they would say that it's actually... It's just got good blood pressure or that it's some other thing or that it might be... A, she had strokes. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what it was at the time and quite frankly I kept getting the sense that they kept changing their answer for the same reason it just was something that nah, this looks like a creeper hit this anyway it was a serious problem and I could not cope with this I mean when you've got somebody in the family who is having problems and you need to help them you need to stop everything family has to be more important than like some silly game where you play with blocks, really. And I accept that, and I understand that, and I spent as much time as I could. Now, I have a bad job that was forcing me to still go to work, even though, even though I wanted to take more time off to visit Mom in the hospital. And nothing I could have done about that, really.
Yeah, I think this is okay because you don't want to accidentally jump over the edge of this wall and then land on some cows. So that makes sense, I guess. Hmm, there's a space there. It shouldn't have been there. Well, that's okay. And nighttime is coming, and that's that. The wheat still hasn't grown yet. Pfft. And so it escalated. Uh, after a while, she improved enough that they could send her home. And uh, she got worse, and and then she was a lot worse, and finally it got to the point where it looked like she was going to that she was just completely losing it. She was she was clearly dying. Where is everything I need? Oh, I see. Okay. And I've got a raw chicken for some reason. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got seeds. We got the thing for planting. But it's still not ready to be harvested. There's still some that have not gone anywhere. Oh, well. <clears throat> I do, however, have wheat. And with this wheat... I have to get some sheep. Except I think there's just pigs over here. I've forgotten. Life has been very furious and... Wait, how am I going to get sheep to cross the route? Oh, they're not. Uh-oh. Gotta go back up the hard way. Ah! <laughs> you? Oh, that's the one that fell off the tree. Um, I remember this. There was a video where I did that. Well, that's not going to help. Alright, uh, how about this way? Oh, wait, I went that way. Let's go the other this way. I felt so sorry about her dying and there wasn't anything I could do. I'd go over and I'd visit and she wasn't responding very well. She took to needing me to buy her diapers or maxi pads. I don't think she wanted to buy diapers. I think my aunt bought her diapers or some. No, it's not a sheep. Uh, I was just so sad. I mean, there wasn't anything I could do. just kept getting worse and so I went to visit her one day and just suddenly there's people there and it's like we have to take her to the hospital again I'm like what really is this really what she want because she said she didn't want to go back and yeah she said yeah and so I was like all right she was in more pain than I'd imagined and not only wasn't she in more pain than I'd imagined, she was in more pain than anybody could have thought. It was just horrible for her. And so there wasn't anything we could do. It was it seemed hopeless to us. So they put her in in a hospice situation. Oh, it sounds like I said hostage situation. No, no, no. It was a hospice. Uh, like a place to... I don't know. I don't know any other word for it. It's just hospice. It's just like a... Like if you're a complete invalid kind of... Kind of nursing home. Kind of... Whoa. Um... I was just so sad about about it because it was too far away for me to visit. As I may have told you, I actually I actually walked to work, and I vo oh look at all this sand. Hey, I need more sand, don't I? Hmm. Well, I'll come here if I ever need it. I walked to work, and if I avoid taking the bus, and my schedule was making it very difficult for me to to go and visit her. In fact. There was one, and because I had to do a bunch of things, 
There were a whole bunch of things that I was being required to do. To help her out. And it was all completely impossible. And I felt so sorry because I needed to, to do some of the paperwork and the things. But I couldn't get off of work to, to visit her. I almost got yelled at by, by somebody who was offering to drive me. This wasn't about being driven somewhere. It wasn't about being driven and it wasn't about that. It was about having free time. And I've discovered we are living in an illusion. I know this is getting a bit deep, but we are actually living in an illusion. We don't really have the free time that we think we do. It's other people who control it. And this is a very weird staircase, and I don't know why I'm building this or anything. I don't know where I'm going or why I'm going there. Does this go somewhere? Is it meant to go somewhere? Haha. <laughs> Bet you thought I was going to die on that. I was just so sad. I mean, once I discovered that I didn't really have the free will that I thought I had once had, I was just so perplexed. I mean, Do we have life? Other people controlling what we do. And they make money off of it. It's not just enough of... Oh, look over here. That's not going to get up there, is it? Well, we're going to keep trying. Why am I here exactly? Oh, there's cactus. I need to find cactus in the other world and uh, in season five of... Um. No, but the question is, why do we let them take our money when they're not doing anything for us, really? And how come we can't opt out of it? I have no idea. It is a very scary process. Uh, not process. Prospect. As is standing up here on this ledge, which is now given out. For example, oops. Oh, what we got over there? More cactus. That's going to fall on me. It's the kind of thing that drives me nuts because it's just not right. Why am I here anyway? Well, I got some sand. <laughs> Anyway, there is a... Whoa. I should have done that. Anyway, I found out that we are paying money for things like property taxes. And the money goes to a whole bunch of governments. There's a state government, a city government. I never really thought to look into or to think about these things until my mother died and I had to look into her affairs. Previously, I wasn't really encompassed by these things with my uh, current situation, my then situation. My current situation, I'm in the process where I'm going to have to to sell her car, and hopefully, maybe I have to consolidate my life so that maybe I have to move into the move into the situation. Um, I'm not exactly a well-off person. Um, I was last a well-off person. Oh, that was ages ago. Let me put this here, I think. Even though that's there for some reason. Oh, it went into the cow thing. Sorry, cows. I have to get it. Excuse me, cow. Excuse me, cow. Should be one here, too. Got it. 
Anyway, I've had to look into a lot of things that I normally don't have to look into, and, and, and now my life is, is really messed up. I find that so much of my money is being taken away for such stupid purposes. I can't bear to think about it. It's terrible. It's like the ultimate in terrible. And so I'm at the point where I don't think I could go on with this. Also, I've discovered that the current rate of, of attrition of my money, that it would probably take about 10 years before I go completely broke and cannot afford anything and I have to give up computer stuff. It'll happen. I may even be made homeless. So I've got to consolidate things and I'm going to have to do a lot of things. And I'm still, hell I haven't even arranged the funeral. She has to be cremated. We have to we have to work out the funeral date. We have to find the burial ceremony and get to work on the obituary and and here I am playing this stupid game. Well, you know what? No, but you you're, you're going to say that I'm going to stop playing the game. And this I cannot do. Sure family comes first and is very important. I've never argued otherwise. But you know what else I've never argued? You know what else I've never argued other than? That fun should be gotten rid of just because things have gotten serious. I have never stated that. In fact, I completely... And only seven seeds? Completely and totally disagree. All I have to say right now is I'm very thankful to have my life. And I'm very thankful that, I, that my mother existed when she did and taught me many valuable things. Oh, I ran out. Um, one thing that she taught me, and I have to say this, but one thing that she, that she has explained to me in one of her statements it is after my death she said take a year and don't make any major decisions for a year at least a year that way you not enter into something and I'm thinking that's a good idea I'm thinking I'm gonna be like that it's dark out here I really should there's a creeper um, I'm going in I'll finish this statement from inside Don't make any major decisions for a year. I think that's a good idea. Of course, the world may come to an end in less than a year, but yeah, that's fine. I think I'm going to just put eight of those. There we go. What have we got over here? Oh, we've got varying things. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. I think waiting about a year is a really, really good idea. It would be a lot better of an idea if I was completely down with it. <laughs> um, but I am willing to do what it takes to do that which is needed. She caused me to have to do a lot of things, and I really can't blame her. She's a nice person. She's dead now. You know, I think I'm not going to I'm not going to bring this in the episode. I'm debating over whether to uh put this video up on YouTube or to just ignore it. I haven't decided. People are going to want me to talk about this, but I don't want to talk about this. Perhaps I should open up about it later. Perhaps it's too flippant, too frivolous. Too disrespectful. I think, when it comes to, to whether I should release this video, I think I'm going to sleep on it first. Good night.